What's up, this is Bam Margera, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the worst injuries, funniest, and scariest. Here we go. First injury that hurt like hell. Jack S came for the first time to Pennsylvania to start filming the new show. It was winter time, and they had these wheelbarrow bucket cars with these jumps going down this hill. And we hit the jump and I came flying out and my tailbone hit the very edge of me just in the perfect spot to snap it. The worst part was we went to the emergency room to get an x-ray and there's a lot of things MTV cannot show, but they certainly could show my x-rayed two inch hose that looked like a one inch hose because it was February. They even framed it at the office. And when you have a broken tailbone, there's nothing you could do about it. You can't put a cast on it. You can't really ice it. And I had to sit on a flight from Tampa to Philly. First glance next to this businessman. I'm like, dude, I got a broken tailbone and you're gonna have to deal with me like this the whole time. And it took eternity to heal. Number two was, uh, the Point Loma handrail in San Diego, I was filming for uh, feedback with Ty Evans' Trans World video, and I was going for a Nolly lip slide. I had that trick on lockdown after watching Chad Muska. I was living with him and Tom Penny in Newport, so that was like my go-to trick. Went for it, missed the Nolly, flew down. I didn't want to rack my nuts, so I grabbed the handrail, racked my nuts anyway, and then slid right on my face at least five or 10 feet. And I had such a big scab on my face that when I flew home, my girlfriend broke up with me because she thought my face would always be that way. Man, I had some black and blue swollenness from that. Now we talk about the dick brand. So I signed a contract with Jackass to get a branding on my ass, talking about how it would be the Jackass skull and crossbones. And um, when they arrived, it was a little mini dick. I'm like, I did not sign up for this. They said, you signed a contract to get a branding. So I finally get it done. I kept jumping and it was going, so it looked like a hologram dick. I ran right to this cow drinking bucket that was filthy and I sat in it and um, it got so infected, I got a staph infection, which hurt way worse than the actual branding. I remember when I went to the hospital, I was like screaming in pain. Luckily uh, in Pennsylvania, I have this thing called fast track because I'm there so often that uh, I got to skip the line and I really needed it that time. Now, this is my latest injury. I was in treatment at Life Skills in Deerfield Beach, Florida, and there happened to be a little skate park across the street from the treatment center. And some little shit has waxed the half pipe coping like an Eskimo iceberg. I went right for a pop shove and nose stall a revert. And when I reverted, my 14th broken elbow turned into number 15. It was like the shape of an S and my elbow went <laughs> The bone was sticking out and that shit was so black and blue purple. I rocked a cast for like four to five months. And when I took it off, it healed, it healed crooked. Dude, if I break this son of a bitch for the 16th time, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to skate or do a push up again. Let's talk about Louisville, Kentucky. I was on the Tony Hawk tour. And when we do these tours, there's demos that are sometimes eight to 12,000 people and I did not want to suck at this demo. So I showed up at midnight just to feel the park around and the lights were so dim. There's this giant full pipe about 20 foot tall and I dropped in at full speed, launched to the top about 14 feet above where it just started to get oververt. My back foot came off and I just flew from 14 feet straight to my head. Kunk! And I knocked myself out so bad that I couldn't breathe. And my brain was so jiggled loose that when they picked me up, I thought I was touching the ground right here. And then I just threw up everywhere. And I realized that there was something wrong with my ribs. So I had a punctured lung. And they said that if I would have waited, I would have bled out. And uh, that was the end of the tour for me. Sorry, Tony Hawk. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I did the loop after that. When I first tried it, I came kind of close, but then I ate too much shit. Then I tried it at Bob Burnquist's house and I was coming really close until I completely knocked myself out. Then in Phoenix, Arizona on the Boo Boo Hug Jam, Burnquist just said, dude, all you have to do is drop in as soon as you hit the transition, lock your knees, stare at 12 o'clock and follow the stickers. That's all I needed to know. I did it first try. The riot bomb. If you happen to be in some kind of event that could potentially become a riot where a riot bomb is gonna come, I recommend to run for the hills. We're in uh, Arkansas, Little Rock, filming for Jackass 2. So there we are in this uh, police station and we all just sat there one by one. 
when they let that shit go off, I stood in the worst possible spot ever because I got it like 16 times. Dunn got it like five, and I think Knoxville got it eight or something, but I got one right there. It was so painful. It was like, I was like, ah. <laughs> no fun at all. <laughs> this one was in jump off a building for Toy Machine. We're in Edmonton Mall, the biggest mall in, in America. There was a pirate ship with all this water everywhere and I wanted to do a front flip off the top into the water. When I did the front flip, I over-rotated and slammed so hard that I broke a couple ribs. Once again, when you break your ribs, especially eight of them, the worst torture ever is if somebody played like a fucking romantic comedy because you make, ah, 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 and you cough. It's like you're re-breaking it. If you sneeze, you are re-breaking it. That is another thing that takes eternity to heal. And the guy who was filming it, he reverse recorded it. He hit stop when he thought he was recording. So luckily Jamie Thomas had a long lens angle. Every 4th of July at FDR, they have a massive party. I was about 23 and that's when I was skating there every day and I could skate that place with my eyes closed. So I would pull it up all pumped to shred the night away. I go right for the wall that I always oververt grind first try. And I didn't know that they just freshly painted this like American flag, it was soaking wet. I slipped out from the top and just fell right to my hip, breaking that shit. Now this was one that wasn't on film, but if you want footage, Jesse Ray Gullings went there and did the same fucking thing as me. And to this day, he's still walking around with a cane. We can show a cartoon drawing of me and then show Jesse Ray's real deal. <laughs> so the Bloodhound Gang are pretty much my neighbors. Uh, if you don't know who they are, they do that hit song, You and Me, Baby Ain't Nothing But Mammals, So Let's Do It Like They Do on the Discovery Channel. They were doing their new music video called Foxtrot Uniform Charlie Kilo. And they wanted me to drive this banana car into a tunnel while they're performing. Then MTV came in to film Cribs for them. And at the end of the Cribs, they wanted me to drive the banana car full blown off this cliff into their moat. And I was like, okay, I can do that. How deep is the moat? He just guessed that it was nine feet. That shit was two feet deep with sharp ass rocks. When I did it, the, the car was sinking. So I stood on the top and did a gainer, but I went in head first. I didn't do the full flip. I couldn't spin quick enough. I split my head open in and out of consciousness to the hospital, they had to give me 16 staples from here all the way down to here. My head was just gushing blood. And then when I leaned down, they could just see my skull hanging out. And, and when they staple your head, it was like a full blown staple or from fucking Office Depot. Kunk, 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 kunk. I'm like, that's a real staple. Like, yeah, we said we we're going to staple your head. I'm like, I thought it was some kind of doctor staple. That is straight out of fucking Office Depot. <laughs> I don't really have any words of wisdom because when it comes to jackass, it's a first try thing and it's gonna be painful. So prepare yourself. I'm Bam Margera and that was my worst, funniest and scariest injuries over the years. I hope you enjoyed.